Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting Rocket League match between the University of Wisconsin Whitewater Warhawks and your Wartburg College Knights. I'm Tate Jones. And I'm Landon Jeffs, and we have a really anticipated match. Wartburg did not have a match in week one. This is their rescheduled match against Whitewater, and we're really planning to have a really good match today. Yes, I'm hoping to see a good one here, Landon. This is, this is you know, first time on the air for Rocket League, and I'm hoping that... Uh, Hoping that we can see a really good match today. Yeah, I think it's going to be a really good match. Just like uh, last time I broadcasted, it was a really good time in activation. All three of these guys played really well together. Electric Step really read, led the way with a lot of goals and assists. G-Man Little providing a lot of good defense. And Lewis and Clark just all around. Just all three of them played really well together. And I can't wait to see them out today. Same here. This game's just about ready to get going. So how do you think this game's going to end up today? Well, I haven't haven't researched, you know, the, our, our conference or our division as much, but I think between what you've said and what I've asked, you know, uh, before we got into this, I, I think that between the, the skill sets that Wartburg has and the skill sets that Whitewater has, I, th I think that it's going to be a really, really nice game, and I think it's all going to come down to defense, honestly. I think whoever can hold who is going to be great as we get into this match right away and we see a nice demo right by whitewater at the beginning an electric step nice save there z smoke providing a nice attack so far for whitewater to get him on the attack quick goose providing an aerial off the backboard Ooh. another high shot lewis and clark going for oh nice save there by ricky the sick for whitewater there lewis and clark providing a nice attack for warburg there on the push Whitewater is keeping the pressure on, keeping it on Wartburg's side of the field, making sure that they aren't clearing that ball. They're doing a wonderful job of that. Meanwhile, Wartburg is doing a great job at blocking these shot on goals. This is one thing that I'm really, really fortunate to see out of Wartburg when their last activation match against Bradley. Bradley really started the attack really at the start of the match, and Wartburg really had to play a lot of key defense, but it's really nice to see Wartburg on the attack out here early against Whitewater. Seen a lot of nice 50-50 balls in between these teams. Both teams attacking and defending well so far throughout this first game. Yes, Smol with a nice aerial there. Ricky the Sig popping it up, looking for a teammate to make an opportunity out of it, but they couldn't. Winston Clark with the block. Electric step clearing it out for Wartburg College. This has been a really defensive game so far. It's it's really nice to see both teams are playing very good defense. Very much so. What you're seeing a lot on these uh, on these full full field like clears is you always see two people getting back. You know, just in case it's always that just in case defense. Just goes over the head of Lewis and Clark, but it is cleared out by the Wartburg College Knights. Whitewater on the attack right now. Mr. Goose providing a lot of attack for them right now. See ZS Small kind of staying back just in case if there is a clear by one of the Warburg Knights. Yes, absolutely. And like you said at the start, just keeping that pressure, staying on their side of the field. But with ha with the level of defense that these two teams are playing right now, with the amount of shots on goals and great clears, uh, I don't think that any of these games are going to be real high scoring, Landon. No, so far this has been a very end. Just oh. like we said, ZS Small. Very nice goal there for Whitewater to get us our first goal in game one. And and great shot selection as well. I mean, honestly, just coming and coming out for that and hitting right at the corner. I mean, you couldn't have placed a goal better than that. And he made sure to go and deliver. 
Yes, top right corner is a really tough spot. Lewis and Clark did try his best and take that ball out. He had a nice angle on it, but just it's different with cars and soccer. Absolutely, absolutely. Mr. Goose providing another quick attack there. G-Man Little trying to clear it up for Warburg. Off the backboard in front. Ricky oh, DeSig with a wow. shot. Really nice shot by Ricky wow. DeSig there for Whitewater. Just came out of nowhere. Yeah. Really played peekaboo with this Wartburg team. Just focusing. I think that Warp, I think the Knights were just focused too far on the ball and who had the ball at the moment and weren't worried about the other offensive players. Yeah, Zia Small. I, I don't know if that was a bank shot assist or that was <laughs> if that was planned or not. You know? But that was that was a very nice executed play by Whitewater there to get that goal. Absolutely. Lewis and Clark with the aerial off the corner on Whitewater's side. Ricky to Sig with the clear. Whitewater is just playing absolutely great defense so far here in game one. There, Warburg's had their chances, but Ricky the Sig has been providing a lot of defensive play for. Oh, great Warburg shot. College. Lewis and oh, Clark goes for it and just under the ball. step just on the top of the crossbar. A lot of 50 50 balls here between the end of these two teams at the end of the first game. If you are just joining us, Whitewater is up 2 0 on Warburg College. So. With a minute 26 to go, this game is absolutely not over for the Knights yet. A lot of opportunity as a demo just happens in midfield. Z-Small taking it down the middle, and it is taken away by Lewis and Clark. Nice interception there by Lewis and Clark. It looked, oh, and there's, we, there were, like you just said, there's a demo, and there's another one. A lot of demos here by Whitewater to prevent the attack of Warburg. Lewis and Clark trying to get the ball, but Mr. Goose clearing it out for Whitewater. We got one more minute remaining in this first game with White. We're up two to zero on Warper College. Whitewater making sure that these shots are not ma making sure that the Knights are taking uh, careless shots a little bit, um, reckless shots. You know, they're down 2-0, making sure to put that pressure on them to make them, you know, mess up or make a crucial a crucial error uh, that could keep this game uh, for the Warhawks. Indeed, it's just Warburg, Warburg's been deep. His, their defense has improved a lot. They're, they're really doing well on defense. They just, they can't attack with the presence of, like just we say, just like we said, Lewis and Clark mm. with a nice, they just beautiful save. Get... But Ricky the Sig with the second goal of the match really came out of nowhere with a nice aerial. I think what I think what the Knights ended up doing there was they just ended up over committing on the first yep. shot. And again, just like the second goal that was scored on them, um, they weren't really watching out for other um, other attackers and it ended up just getting finished right into the right into the Knights' uh, goal. And Zia Small, a nice. Oh, oh wow! Wow! Zia Small, really quick attack for Whitewater there to get him up four to zero. Wow! Very quick score after the last goal they just had by Ricky the Sig. A brilliant ground pinch, might I add. That that is going to make sure that that shot has some power behind it and keeps that blocking out of that shot. We've got 12 seconds left here in the first game. Whitewater at four to zero on Warburg College. Yes, this game is looking a little bleak for Wartburg. Um, I think that um, the main issue uh, that I think happened with Wartburg, great backboard shot, but this couldn't happen. And I, th I think what Wartburg was sort of struggling with, especially near the end of the game, I mean, they held them 2-0 halfway through the game, and then within the last minute, last 45 yep. seconds, they scored two more goals. So if I'm Wartburg, if I'm the coach, I'm saying, well, why did this happen? Where did our momentum go? We had a set, we had a set defense. We had great defense. We just needed to have the offensive power, but then we let it go. So I, I would be, personally, I would be talking to my players and letting them know, hey, being down by two goals doesn't mean the game is over. Indeed. They just got to find a strategy. We look at the stats here after game one. Electric step for Warburg leading all players in touches, even with Warburg not scoring, is very valuable. We're seeing Warburg having a lot of possession here so far throughout game one, but we just see Whitewater compared to Warburg, all three of Warburg's players only having one shot. Mr. Goose having himself six shots is just crazy to think. Yeah, absolutely, Landon. They say that defense wins games, but if you don't have any type of offense, that's not going to help you out either. Indeed, here in the start of game two, see if Wartburg can apply a lot of more of an attack focus in this game. Played very good defense like we said in the first game, but we need to see a little more offensive effort out of them. Hey, oh. and ZS Small strikes really quick for Whitewater. Yeah, that was a great goal. Um, 
Mr. Goose uh, setting that up right in the air. Uh, couldn't quite tell whether that was intentional or not, but it, in terms of placement, that was perfect for uh, Ricky the Sig to just get right in there and score that in the corner. Indeed it was. Zia Small providing a lot of offense so far. He had two goals there in game one and started out really early now for Whitewater again in game two to start us off. Zia Z Small, Small going in for the corner goal. Missed. Another aerial there. Electric step providing a nice push there for Wartburg. Mr. Goose clears it out for Whitewater. Goose and Clark with a great shot on goal. We're going to see if it gets blocked. Z Small does it indeed. Z Small providing defense and offense for Whitewater throughout this. And Mr. Goose with an aerial. Nice clear out there by Electric Step. But that's the thing about Whitewater there. They'll always have two guys on the push, but then they'll always have one back right there in the perfect spot. Oh, oh wow. man. Just off the top crossbar, rolled in. That is a tough shot to block. Um, I think that Electric Step was just a little bit out of position there. You see him, he's too forward into the goal, and he couldn't just just couldn't back up to be able to save that ball. And really, really nice shot from Ricky the Sig there. A nice assist by Whitewater there, but Ricky the Sig came out of nowhere with a nice sudden aerial to get that goal for Whitewater there. A double aerial miss, that could be crucial. Lewis and Clark make sure to clear it so that nothing goes out of it. Now let's see if the Warburg Knights can make an offensive play. They've been struggling over this past game and the last one, and they just need to make sure to get a push, get a strategy going. Otherwise, they're just going to be doing these sit-downs here. And great shot, but blocked by uh, blocked by G-Man Little. And Electric Step clearing it out for Warburg. Warburg trying to get some offense going here in game two, but Whitewater's defense has just been absolutely everywhere. Their guys are pursuing aerials out of nowhere, preventing Warper to even get close to the goal. Yes, absolutely. The The ball movement by this Whitewater team, oh, and a great shot by Electric Step, but just, just blocked. Z-Small there again. Every single time Electric Step's had an op opportunity to attack for Warper, he's, he's been stopped by Z-Small and Mr. Goose getting him the third goal of game two here for Whitewater. Yeah, again, I, I think that this I think that the Knights at this point really need to analyze themselves on how to, where they need to direct all of their, um, all their motivation and all their momentum because they seem to be lacking both offense and defense and that's not gonna help them whatsoever. Clearly being down 3-0 with still three minutes left. Uh, a comeback could still ensue, but with the way that the Knights are playing right now, it's not looking promising. No, it is not. Like we said, Warburg's defense has been really good, but when we see Warburg try to attack, they leave two guys back, but Whitewater's attack is just too fierce for them so far. Whitewater really has nice aerials, really nice bank passes off the, the ball, and there we oh. see Warburg having another chance with Z-Small there once again. And there oh, we go. what a great there we go. shot by G-Man Little. Again, located that, made it into the top right corner, made sure to take his time, made sure to stay under composure, and a great angle on that shot. We see all three of Whitewater's cars in the goal area there, but G-Man Little, just like we said in game one, when you put it up in the top right or top left corner, it's really hard Absolutely. To stop. An electric step, Ricky the Sig, and Ariel coming in. Nice clear out there by Warburg. Double commit by uh, Whitewater there. Walk by Lewis and Clark. Electric step going for the corner on the aerial, but just beat out by Ricky the Sig. Whitewater with another attack here. Ricky the Sig taking possession there. And we see another bank pass there to try to set up another goal attempt for Whitewater there, but Electric step clearing it out for Warburg with a nice defensive play. Whitewater has been using a lot of backboard shots as their basis behind a lot of their goals. And a great block by Electric great Step. Great save by Electric Step there. If you are just joining us here on Warburg Esports, Warburg is down three to one here in game two against Whitewater. Minute 29 on the clock. Warburg still absolutely has a chance at winning this game. Great shot on goal, but blocked by Ricky the Sig. Put back into the Whitewater side by G-Man Little. And Lewis and Clark containing possession there. But Ricky the Sig providing what a save once again. ZS Small and Ricky the Sig have been absolutely everywhere 
Wow, unbelievable. Just like we said, save after save for Whitewater, preventing Warburg from getting on the board. Yes, what this, what this Whitewater team is doing a lot better than Warburg at the time is they are getting a lot better at anticipating blocks. It seems like Warburg has been on a lot of a lot of their blocks and a lot of their saves. They've been doing it on the like on the fly. They aren't anticipating whatsoever, and that anticipation is what leads defense into offense. Just like you said, with Whitewater, they always leave one guy back just to make sure. And ZS Small, you put ZS Small and Ricky the Sig in the goal. It is very hard for Warburg to score because their aerials are just very lethal, preventing Warburg from getting on the board. 10 seconds here in game two with Warburg trailing three to one against Wisconsin Whitewater. Ball must hit the ground for game two to end. Mr. Goose with a late push there. ZS Small, oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> hit the ground, 90% of the ball was in the goal, but University UW Wisconsin, again, with the, or Whitewater, uh, again, just pulling through and the stat line really shows it here, Landon. It's just once again, we see Electric Step lead all players in touches once again, leading in the way. But we see Warburg, we still, like in the game one, they all three of the players had to combine three shots. But now we're seeing them execute a lot more shots here. But they are just, with Whitewater's defense, they're just providing a lot. We see ZS Small with three saves. We see Mr. Goose with two. It's just been just a defensive game here for Whitewater, just preventing Warburg from staying out of the goal. It absolutely has. And even though it looks as though uh, Warburg may have more collective touches, it's sort of what I mentioned earlier, Landon, where they are sort of reckless. They're sort of um, desperate touches, I would say. They haven't really had as many opportunities or shot on goals, clearly, as uh, Whitewater. And hopefully they can translate those touches into something more productive in this third game. And here in game three, Whitewater... Up in the series, two to zero. About a quick 50-50 ball so far throughout this match. See Warburg getting on the attack a little more quickly with the G-Man Little. Nice, nice attack on there. ZS, Z Small again. Just there, anticipating the attack, knowing where Warburg's gonna go. Mr. Goose, nice aerial there. Uh, nice clear out there by G-Man Little to get that out of there for Warburg College on the attack. Riding up off the backboard. Electric step with a shot on goal. Just hits it high. Maybe he's going to go for the double tap, and he doesn't quite put enough power on it, and the goal shoots off. Nice clear there by Lewis and Clark. And oh, what a great hey, shot on goal. Hey, oh, great goal. goal. Great goal. And a great goal. We see a nice demo there by Warburg College, leaving Lewis and Clark an empty goal for a nice goal for Warburg College here to start game three. See, that is the fundamental play that Wartburg needs to commit to to beat this Whitewater team. They aren't unbeatable. They aren't invincible. Wartburg still absolutely has a chance to come back. It, it's looking not promising going into game three, but keeping that momentum up, keeping that positive energy up, and they can do it. Wartburg College has just got to be really smart. With them in the lead right now being down 2-0, to zero, they, they got up. And they, oh, oh, what a great block. Great block there. I think that was Electric Step again. Electric Step providing a lot of defense here so far for Warburg tonight. Yes, this man, Electric Step, has been the thorn in their side. Right when Whitewater wants to take it easy, they can't. Electric Step puts that pressure on all the time. And a shot on goal. And off just the crossbar. <gasps> oh, great save on Lewis and Clark there to prevent. Warburg's defense really nice here at the start of game three. Lewis and Clark and Electric Step. And there you see Z Small right in the goal once again. They always have two on the push. But Whitewater always leaves one back. We see a nice demo there. Lewis and Clark off the sidewall, going in for a corner. Cleared out by Z Small, shot by Electric Step, and, and a go! goal! And it's a goal! Dis oh yeah, that was nice. That was really nice. Despite the con the contested, uh, oh man, contested by both Ricky the Sig and Mr. Goose, but it just slipped right in between that defense. I. You know, my, my dad always used to say, this applies to any sport, scoring is contagious. Once they start scoring, once the team starts scoring, it becomes contagious. Indeed, and hey, just like we said, if it's a top, if it's a top left or right crossbar shot, it's gonna go in because 
even with two cars in the in the goal, it is so hard to defend those shots because if you place those perfectly, and just like we saw there for Warburg, they did it so good. And just like we've seen Whitewater place it. And if you put it there, it's going to go in. Absolutely. Mr. Goose with the shot on goal just right. And the follow-up. Z-Small with the follow. It's just like we said. It really wasn't a bank shot assist kind of thing. But, hey, Mr. Goose flying in for the aerial and then Z-Small right off the bank on the side of the shot collecting the first goal for Whitewater here in Game 3. Yep. And that, again, it, just like we've repeated in these in all three games that there's always been a follow-up attacker. And Warburg either needs to be aggressive towards those or aggressive towards the ball. If not... It's going to be an easy follow-up. Crosses in front of the goal. Mr. Goose with a missed, missed shot. Hit back into the corner. Ooh, he the Sig about got another shot on goal there. Z Small with the aerial shot. Lewis and Clark with the defend. Electric step providing some pressure there on Mr. Goose. Lewis and Clark trying to clear it out for Warburg here. Seeing Whitewater start to get a lot more aggressive here. They're a little little hesitant at the start, but once Warburg put those two goals up on him quick in game three here, we've seen a lot more attack here from Whitewater. Yeah, once we found out that Warburg can be... Oh, man. Great. And that was set up perfectly. Yeah, a, a nice pinch off the wall by Z Small, just setting him up, setting up Ricky the Sig for a wide open goal. Like we said, those side, those side little bank shots is what's been keeping Whitewater in this game. They just execute their goals very well. They play together as a team very well. We see a nice demo there. And G-Man Little clearing it out for Wartburg. Here comes Electric Step. Electric Step with the oh. shot and blocked. And a nice block ricochet there by Whitewater. G-Man Little trying to attack for Wartburg College here. Juked around Mr. Goose, but Z-Small comes in with the finish. Electric step with the defense. Going for the aerial. Shot on goal. Mr. Goose going in for the block, and he clears it. Lewis and Clark. Nice defensive play by him there. Lewis and Clark trying to advance it here for Warburg. We're Ricky the Sig. Nice aerial to try to get it back in. Z-Small once again. The shot on goal by Electric oh, step and great blocked. Great save by Whitewater there. Mr. Goose providing a nice defensive play there. It's cleared out. There's Empty no goal. one on defense. Mm. Dang it. It's like we talked about. Warburg's on the push, wanting to attack. They've got a three-on-two going, but if there's just one that's hit perfectly high in the air with a little bit of boost, that sucker's going in because Warburg has nobody back there. Warburg now with the pressure on them, you know, thinking that Whitewater would uh, lay down easy, but they did not. Coming back from a 0-2 deficit, now leading 3-2 with 30 seconds left. This could mean the series if this Warburg Knights team doesn't step up and keep that aggression that they had with those first two points. Electric step oh, in with a oh. hard goal, but it is blocked. Lucy Clark with an aerial there. Whitewater here is just going to try to keep everybody back as best as they can. They're not going to try to. And there we see a demo there quick. Electric step. Oh, Mr. Goose. Great save. Electric step. Looked like he had a really nice goal opportunity there. But Mr. Goose. And we see a demo. And one second still. still and that's there. game. A tough break there for Warburg. Starting, the, starting game three out up 2-0. And then letting three goals late in the third match really led them to this tough loss. So... Okay, after game three, I think Whitewater clinches it after winning the first three out of five. So what do we see in these stats after game three? Well, I think that we just see both. I, I could try to make a an argument for Warburg having great defense too, you know, holding them to low uh, low goals. But it, their, their defense is about consistent with Whitewater and their offense is just sinking. I mean, they, they just can't compete with the placement and the application of, uh, of the – ball movement that Whitewater is uh, is applying to this game right now, to this match right now. But like, so we have some series stats here. A new updated thing that we got here at Warburg Esports that's really cool. So one thing that really stuck out to me in this game is you look at Warburg, 
and you look at Whitewater. Their shots is the one thing that really is something that I've been looking at. You see Lewis and Clark and G-Man Little only averaging almost two shots per game. And we see Ricky the Sig, Mr. Goose, and Z Small almost getting three to four shots a game. For Warburg College, if they need, if they want to start winning and getting up there, they really need to start attacking more, finding more of a way they can collect goals and play together more as a team. Absolutely. Playing like a team, that is put very perfectly. If you look at the assists especially, although one is not much heavier than the other, Electric Step and G-Man Little with zero assists and Lewis and Clark with 0.3. Now, that 0.3 differential between, you know, the amount of assists that Whitewater has versus uh, the Knights might not seem real great, but when you look at it in an aspect of scoring goals and offensive uh, discipline, then Whitewater has shown that their output is way more productive than this Knights team. Yes, and we see, like we see in this leaderboard, Z Small leading all scores with 512.3. The nearest would be Mr. Goose, his teammate, still less than 100 points. I feel Z Small was one of the major reasons Whitewater came out with his victory today. Provided great offense for them, provided great assists off the wall for his teammates to score, and really had some really nice saves throughout all these three games. Z Small has definitely proven this game that, and this series, that he is the best, that they are the best overall player. I mean, production on defense, production on offense, production on playmaking. I mean, what can't this guy do? And I think that Warburg has to adapt to that and wake up and say, this guy's a problem. Like, we absolutely need to take care of him and contain him to some degree. Well, when we see Warburg going, so some of the things we got to see next week, we've got to see more offense. We see Electric Step leading the way. I feel he has been the captain for this team, but I just, we need to see more offense out of Warburg if we want to see something different throughout these future weeks of games. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think even though they're sort of like what I stated um, previously, their, their touches are somewhat similar, but they just aren't productive enough. Their bumps are roughly equal, but they just aren't productive enough. And um, I, I think that uh, if they work on that in the coming weeks in preparation uh, for their next match, then this Knights team is really going to have the potential to start winning some games and winning them well. They, just like I said previously, what I was going to finish saying is in their activation around the last time I uh, broadcast was against Bradley. They started up 2-0, to zero, and those two games just looked like Wartburg College there. They were attacking well. They did what Whitewater was doing. They banked shots off the wall. They set up players. And then we see late uh, with Bradley winning the next three games. All three of those games going into overtime and Warburg losing in sudden death, which is a really tough break for them. But we know this Warburg College team has it in them. We just need to see it more. And with them working together as a team, they will do this sometime in the season. Absolutely. And it's all about digging down. It's all about really getting gritty. I mean, no wins are going to come easy. Uh, and I think that that's the mindset that they have to be in. Even with being up 2-0, being up 3-0 in games and points um, and score, you can't sleep on the other team or else it's going to bite you in the butt very, very hard. Hmm? Okay. Well, it was a great match, but an unfortunate match for uh, this night's team. Um, it's been Tate Jones. And I'm Landon Jepson. It's been a great night of Wartburg. And we will see you next time. Have a great night, everybody.